Hello and welcome back to another Omni Heroes video. Uh, in this video we're going to do things a little bit differently. There's going to be no gameplay in this video. Um, and first of all I'd like to start off by just saying I'm sorry. And the reason that I'm sorry is because all season uh, so far I've been telling you uh, in the comments, I've been telling you in my videos, you know you can go back and watch it, that to save for Cleo. Um, because I was under the impression um, that we would be getting Cleo uh, in Oath. Now, the big news is we're not. And I'm going to get into that in just a little bit. But the reason that I wanted to... Um, or the reason that I thought that Cleo was coming to Oath uh, is because of this here. So the event schedule. So if you go into game uh, and you go into your event schedule um, on the main home screen, you can see Oath Recall. Uh, it features Cleo as the image there um, so I've been telling everybody all season save for Cleo save for Cleo save for Cleo um, and it turns out Cleo is not coming back to Oath um, she will be available within the ticket selector so when you get up to 100 and then 200 300 400 uh, summons on Oath you do get a ticket with Cleo in it um, now for me uh, that is if, if I'd have made this video this morning, it would have been a very different video. Um, I was I was really mad this morning. I was really mad. Um, firstly, because I've been telling people all season to save for Cleo. Um, and secondly, because they've just dropped this midway through the season. Like, it's not... It's, it's poor form, should I say. It's poor form. Now, um, the way that I found this out uh, is through the patch notes released um, through the... Discord. If you've not joined up to the Discord, I highly encourage you to. Um, there's loads and loads of content uh, on here. So you, as you can see, you've got patch notes, devs feedback, recruitment center, Discord news, social feed, re, uh, the discounts, um, gift codes, message from producers. You've got story law, server boosts, um, and assignable roles. Those kind of don't really count. But then we go down, you've got OmniChat, which is full of people. Um, full of players who are asking for help, full of cool uh, memes. <laughs> um, full of cool memes. And then you've got lineup help. So if you ever need any help with a particular lineup, you can go into uh, that one, uh, that um, discussion here. Ooh. This discussion. Um, and if you are having troubles or you've got questions, you can pop it in here and then people will be um, very happy to help out. Now you've also got the creator video section. Uh, as you can see, um, you've got multitudes of videos, uh, loads of them. Um, my boy Rokan here, uh, he is absolutely fantastic. Currently going through Lost City. Um, I'll have a couple of videos out on the new Lost City chapters tomorrow. Um, but for now, uh, we'll jump back into it. So you've got suggestion feedback. So this is where you can post your suggestions. Um, and they get upvotes or downvotes depending on how good the suggestions are. Um, and then you've got bug reports. So if, say for example, you're having an issue um, with the game like this, um, it's under maintenance, you can post your queries in here um, and uh, they will get answered as well. You've also got guides lists. So um, a zoo uh, on here, done heroes tier list and room priority list, really, really helpful. Um, and then I've also posted uh, a couple of my guide videos in here as well, uh, in case you ever do need to um, go and check or you want some help with stuff. Uh, it's all listed all here. You've got official guides and creator guides as well. So very helpful. Uh, now, the thing we're going to focus on in this video is the patch notes. So within the patch notes itself here, um, as you can see, Eudora and Leandra make a limited time return. Clear Patra can be attained through progress rewards. So, um, this is for the new oath. This will be coming out uh, 20th to 26th of September. So, as of the date of recording this video, uh, it's 18th, so it will be uh, two days from now. So, on Friday, uh, that's when Hades is going to be released. He's a fantastic unit. Um, but something to keep in mind during this period you can select from the following heroes as boosted probability heroes when drawing five star legendary heroes the chance of getting the boosted probability hero is 66.7 percent so that's uh underworld lord hades um it's aphrodite uh wu zeshan uh, or zetam uh, however you would pronounce it 
you've got Dahlia, Mulan and Wukong, so all of the units from last season. Uh, and that's going to be on this this next one. Now, the this one here, uh, this next one, so this is from 4th of October to the 10th of October. Uh, that'll be two weeks on Friday. Um, this one is the one that was supposed to be Cleo, which is why I've been telling people to save for Cleo. So I am sorry for this. The plan has changed, apparently, and I've had discussions with devs, uh, discussions with um, the uh, content manager here, uh, or the um, the social media manager, just with regards to um, this, and they've said that the, the plan has changed, um, that they're no longer going to be putting Clio on oath, and they do not know when Clio is coming back, um, which is... I don't know if that's better or if that's worse than how I felt at the time. Um, I, I was really, really angry at the time that they'd removed Cleo. Again, for the reasons I've already gone through. Um, but instead, Eudora will make a limited time return. Uh, and Cle Cleopatra can be, can be obtained through uh, cumulative draw rewards as well. So that means in the tickets. Um, she's got to be in the tickets. So if you spend 400, you can pick up four copies of... Um, uh, Cleopatra. So during this period, you can uh, select from the uh, following heroes um, and get a boosted probability. So that's uh, Eudora, Leandra. Leandra is back in Oath, even though she is available through the Oracle Shop. Um, for me, that is, I, I am really mad. I'm still really mad about it. Um, it is what it is. So you can get Dahlia, Aphrodite, Wu, and Hades as well. So. Um, a lot of good units uh, featured within there. The four uh, at the bottom. Uh, Eudora is okay. She's been kind of outdated uh, unless you have her legendary runes. But uh, it is what it is. Now, additionally, we have added Cleopatra to the limited rebate hero selection card rewards. During the Oath Recall event, you can earn a hero selection card from uh, after 100, 200, 300, and 400 cumulative draws, allowing you to choose one hero from Cleopatra, Eudora, Leandra, Dahlia, Aphrodite, or Hades. Um, so you can choose uh, her on this final oath. She will technically be there, but you won't be able to get her with diamonds. Um, you know, it's it's 60k diamonds uh, for 50 attempts, but that's the limit. You can't go any further than that. You can only go to, uh, you know, 50 summons and then you have to buy Oath Scrolls. Um, if you have been, you know, buying throughout the course of the, uh, the season and a, the couple of weeks, you can pick up, say, 25 Oath Scrolls. But, it, you know, it is what it is. There's there's not much else to it. Um, really, the Cleopatra should have been on, on this last one, in in my opinion. Really should have been um, on this, this last Oath here just to make her available she is a key unit um, and one that people will spend a lot of money trying to get um, and now she's only available in a very limited capacity so that's the that's the update um, on the patch notes again you know i'm sorry if i have misled you that is there's there's not much that i could have done about this i I didn't get advised of it. I didn't. I didn't see any of this stuff until it was actually posted. I was blindsided, and you know, it it is what it is. She is no longer available through oath. So um, it's just an update uh, on this. Uh, not much else to it. So not many people. <laughs> not many people like this um, at all. People are really angry about this. They are not happy one little bit so if you jump on the discord um you can voice your opinions through the suggestions through the omni chat um and as well uh you know just just have a discussion about it and and see what other people think uh, i really do encourage you to jump on the discord it's it's really good it's full of content full of resources for you um to be able to progress through the game full of excellent lineups and different team builds uh what people are trying at the moment so yeah please do jump on the discord um you know, I, I do very much think that uh, the Discord is, is a fantastic place. Um, and you, you you make a lot of contacts, you meet a lot of people on here. Uh, really, really good place. Um, unfortunately, you do get bad news like this uh, through the Discord as well. So, you know, <laughs> give and take. It's give and take. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, I 
would encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I'm looking to get to a thousand subscribers. Uh, I'm planning to do that over the next couple of months. But if you click subscribe down below, um, it's free and then you can ignore me for the rest of your life. So uh, thanks very much for watching. I do hope you have a great day.